And so research has found people with severe autism can face a higher risk from the virus. But those all along the spectrum have been hit hard by various restrictions and disruptions over the past two years. One family from Ann Arbor says they're excited to get their daughter vaccinated. Hi, Mama. You want to say, I'm going to get my COVID shot? No. Okay. <laughs> Like any seven-year-old, Avery Eckner of Ann Arbor doesn't like shots, but she was ready for her COVID vaccine. Avery spent an entire year doing remote schooling. Um, that was really hard for her at her age. Uh, and so, you know, beyond preventing her from getting sick and, you know, getting ill with COVID, we also wanted to prevent her from having to miss more time in class, uh, you know, and not just her personally, but, you know, the more COVID in the community, the more likely schools are that they're going to get closed down. Avery's dad, JT, is also a doctor. Perfect. Are you done already? There you go. Was that so fast? <laughs> what band is it? Ooh. I think the risk of the vaccine is really minuscule compared to the risk of COVID. Not being vaccinated as a person with autism or another disability puts you at much greater risk than being vaccinated. Colleen Allen is the president and CEO of the Autism Alliance of Michigan. They're working to assist families struggling with the challenges of autism and COVID. Our navigators are, you know, front, front line for, for anyone looking for help, um, whether it's to learn more about vaccines and their safety or for some other reason, just struggling with another health issue or education issue or just trying to get by day to day. Our message is please get vaccinated. We care about your safety and your health. And we want our population to live the best life possible in the community with others. And that's going to be possible with vaccines. Protecting Avery and so many others. She's excited that she's vaccinated now. And it's like one little step towards, you know, back towards normal. Now that she's vaccinated, Avery's family is looking forward to swimming and rock climbing indoors something they haven't felt safe doing before. Now, you can find a link to connect with the Autism Alliance of Michigan on the health page at clickondetroit.com.